So we'll go back to our documentation here and click back to DynamoDB. And let's look at how we would get multiple items. Uh, and so we have batch get item, request items. So it's not key, it's something else here. And if we go to an example, you can see it's as simple as this. So I'm going to just copy this uh, here, this command. We're going to make our way back here. And we're going to do batch get item. I'm going to paste that in there. We're going to make it a single line. That makes it a little bit nicer. And we're going to create this request items file that it's suggesting here. Uh, we'll make a new file there. Paste that in. And what we're going to do, I think it's very similar to this, except you can do multiples of it. So we'll go uh, over here and take a look. Uh, so here you provide the table name. So we don't have to provide the table here. And then you provide the keys. Uh, so it's pretty darn similar. We'll look at the actual, yeah, so you don't provide the table name. So we'll look at the actual example here because this might be a little bit more pared down here. No, it's the same. And you even provide the pro uh, projection expression here if you want to filter out the, uh, the fields that you want. But I want all the fields. I'm greedy like that. So I'm just going to paste this in below here. Oops, actually, we'll go here, paste it in there. And we're just going to grab this one to save us some time because we'll just get the same record. And I'm going to paste that in as one of the keys. And I really don't like four spaces, but I'm not going to play around with this. So I'm just going to tab that in here. I'm just hitting tab to do that. I really hate four spaces. It's just too much. It's excessive. And I only want uh, two records here. So I'll take out this one here. We don't need to project any expressions. We just want everything. And we will go get a second ship. So I will go back here to the data. Uh, we will look for another cool ship. Something that sounds cool. USS Reliance sounds pretty darn cool. And so I'll grab uh, the, the class, which is the Miranda. Um, so we'll do class down here. And I'll have to replace these, of course. And we also need the registry number paste that in there. And so, oh, and we also need the name of the ship, which is, or the table, sorry, which is called Starships. And so that should do it. So let's make our way back to our scratch pad here. And I'm going to copy, whoops, that's not it. I'm going to copy this down below. And we'll paste that in there. And that should give us the record. So it gave us back two records with all their information. Well, let's take a look what this looks like as a table. Terrible. Can't even read it. So let's look at this as a ta uh, as text. Yeah, that's a bit better. So again, you know, just play around with that stuff. So that is batch get item. So now the next thing I want to do is show you how to um, like write items to the database, but we don't have any new records. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete one and then we're going to re-add that back to the database next.